Reed Harvey asks me on Quora, a company in my same sector has trademarked the brand name I am using. What are my options? My name is Andre Minka. I'm the founder of Trademark Factory. And here's my answer to this question. This is so sad to get to the point when you have a business, you have a brand name that you think is your brand name, you have been using it for some time, and then somebody else in the same sector goes out there, trademarks the same name, and all you got left is uh, worry about what's your next step, what can you do now, what are your options? right uh it's that's the situation that's so easily avoidable because you could have been the one who trademarked the name first and you wouldn't have to worry about it you wouldn't have to look for options you wouldn't have to try to figure out is there anything that can be done right and uh, you would be able to enforce that right to enforce that trademark against anybody else in the same industry so I'm taking you didn't do that. So somebody else came into the market uh, and trademarked the brand name you are using, right? Because you didn't really say when they trademarked it and who started using it first. So when you say, what are my options? Uh, I'm going to have a few assumptions. So the first option is, and it's probably not the option you like to hear, is change the name right they trademarked it you gotta go and change the name right and uh, this time around find a name that you can own and uh, make sure you trademark it right away uh the 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 benefit of this is that it allows you to start clean with uh building a business on a good foundation so that you have a brand that you can own make sure it's a unique memorable and protectable brand and just go with that the disadvantage of that of course is you're probably gonna have to spend a lot of money on the rebranding you're gonna have to spend a lot of marketing efforts on educating your existing client base that your name has changed why it changed to what it has changed you know they'll have to uh, change their bookmarks and all of that stuff so there is uh there is a downside of that of course but uh, that's an option right come up with something else your second option is if you are using this name first and you can prove it then uh you could in theory sue them take them to court and say well we somehow missed uh that you wanted to trademark this so we didn't oppose it in time but now that your trademark is registered well hello hello we can prove that we were there first and uh, we want you to uh stop doing this and uh, abandon your trademark cancel it or transfer it over to us this this will probably cost a lot of money uh and uh can you win maybe really depending on how widely known you are under that brand name. If nobody knows you under that brand, maybe you had a company uh, under that brand, but you haven't really done much and uh, you got, you know, 10 people who know you under that brand, your chances of winning lawsuit against somebody who has registered a trademark are slim to none, uh, almost non-existent. However, if you've built a huge client base around the country, around the world, uh, and a lot of people know you under that brand and somebody else goes out and trademarks it, then your chances should be pretty good. Uh, so again, it's, there's, there's a lot of variables there. And, uh, uh, but that's again, another option to consider. Another option to consider is to go to them and settle and say, come up with a solution that works for everyone, compromise, right? Maybe you pay them a little bit and they give up the name and uh, you own the brand, 
or you know they pay you a little bit so that you can use that money towards rebranding or there may be some other ways of coexisting under the same brand so this is really a matter of what can you agree to that both parties are going to be happy with uh, your other option is to continue doing what you do under your brand so let's say again you were there first and uh, somebody else goes out and trademarks it so because you had prior use they can't stop you from continuing doing what you've always been doing so if you were uh let's say a restaurant in las vegas uh and somebody else trademarks that name uh, then they will own the federal trademark in the name but you can continue running your restaurant in Las Vegas but uh, their trademark they'll be able to use it uh, against you if you wanted to expand so for example you had this restaurant in Las Vegas and you wanted to start another restaurant in I don't know San Francisco uh, if they had a federal trademark they'd be able to go after you and stop you so if you're not planning to grow, if you're planning to stay exactly where you were when they trademark their brand, you might get away with really doing nothing and uh, waiting for them to go after you and then say, no, we were there first. So the, the, the upside of that is you don't have to do anything really other than wait. The downside of that is the wait could often lead to you getting those uh, lawsuit papers lawsuits are expensive lawsuits are unpredictable and uh, it's not really the situation that you want to put yourself in and even if they don't sue you even if nothing happens you still end up building a brand you don't own and as I always say there's no reason in the world to spend a minute of your life or a dollar out of your pocket building a brand you don't own so that's probably not a good option so you may be thinking are there any good options really the answer is no that's the whole idea behind trademarks when you own the trademark you hold all the good cards it's tremendously difficult for somebody to challenge your mark to do something that would prevent you from exercising your rights in the brand that you trademarked and conversely if you don't own the trademark and somebody else does it's very difficult for you to do something with them that wouldn't cost you an arm and a leg that's the whole premise around trademark registration which is why we always recommend that if you're a business owner one of the first things you want to do you know get a domain name you know uh, get a company name and get a trademark and get the social media profiles you want this all one does not replace the other you can't just register your llc or an s corp or you know whatever uh, and think that your brand is now protected because it isn't you can't just get a domain name build a website and think that you're now own the brand and that it's protected because it isn't you can't just get you know a social media profile on facebook or youtube or whatever instagram uh, and think that you now own your brand because you don't the only way to own your brand is to trademark it there's no other way around it so when somebody else does it you find yourself in a difficult situation so well I hope this answers your question and um, if you got more questions make sure you post a comment below I will create another video to answer your question as long as I haven't answered it before and uh, really we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos where I talk about entrepreneurship, brands, trademarks, intellectual property, all of that exciting stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and uh, get notified whenever the next video goes live. And until then, I will see you in the next video.